All right, today we're diving into a big one, IA Rider versus Ulysses. Now, these are two heavyweights in the world of distraction-free writing, and they're both amazing, but they have totally different ideas about what a writing app should be. Think of it like this. One is all about minimalism, just you and the text. The other, it's a full-blown writing studio packed with features. So the real question is, which one is right for you? Let's get into it. You know, picking a writing app, it's not just about features. It's really about finding something that clicks with how your brain works. So ask yourself, are you the kind of person who just wants a blank page and a blinking cursor with zero distractions? Or are you someone who feels more creative when you've got all your tools, all your notes right there at your fingertips? It really boils down to how you think and how you create. And this slide, this really nails the core difference, doesn't it? IA Writer is what we're calling the purist's tool. The whole point of it is to just disappear so it's only you and your words. Then you've got Ulysses, the all-in-one studio. This thing is like a command center for your entire writing project, from the very first messy idea all the way to hitting publish. Okay, so first up, IA Writer, the purist's tool. And that subtitle says it all, for the writer who wants nothing between them and the words. If you're someone who thinks a messy screen leads to a messy mind, then yeah, you're going to want to pay close attention. This app is all about making the tech just fade into the background. I love this quote from the creators of Aya Writer. Writing is thinking. Aya Writer is designed to make thinking enjoyable. That's it. That's the whole philosophy. It's not just about getting words on a page. It's about the process of, well, thinking. Every single feature is there to help make that process smoother, to help you focus on your ideas, not on fighting with the software. So how does it actually do this? Well, a few key ways. First, it's all about pure, simple markdown. That means your documents are just plain text files, no weird locked-in formats. Then you've got things like focus mode, which is brilliant. It literally fades everything out except the sentence or paragraph you're working on. It just kills the digital noise. It also has this really cool syntax highlighting feature, but not for code, for grammar. It can highlight all your adjectives or your verbs so you can see your writing style in a whole new way. And maybe the biggest thing, it uses a simple file-based system. Why does this matter? It means you are in control of your files. They live in iCloud or Dropbox or right on your computer. They're yours. Your work is totally future-proof. You'll be able to open these files in 20 years, no problem. Okay, and this is a really interesting, very modern feature they've added. It's called authorship. With everyone using AI tools like ChatGPT these days, IA Writer came up with an answer. It's basically a way to keep track of what words are yours and what words you might have pasted in from an AI. It's about honesty, sure, but it's also about helping you protect your own unique writing voice. And here's the really clever part. When you paste in some text from an AI, the app automatically turns it gray. It's faded out. But as you go through and start rewriting it, putting it into your own words, and really making it yours, the text turns back to solid black. It's such a simple but brilliant visual cue that shows you're taking ownership of the words. It's pretty cool. All right, let's totally switch gears and talk about Ulysses, the all-in-one studio. If IA Writer is like a perfectly sharpened pencil, then Ulysses is the entire art store. This is built for people who are wrangling big, complex projects. I'm talking novelists, academics, bloggers, anyone who needs to keep track of drafts, research, notes, and ideas all in one place. So the secret sauce for Ulysses is its organization. Instead of having a bunch of separate files floating around, everything you write lives in one single library. And inside that library, you create groups, which are basically folders. Then inside your groups, you have sheets. Those are your actual documents. But you can also attach notes, images, or keywords to every single sheet. It works kind of like a database, and it's just so powerful for keeping a huge project from getting messy. And Ulysses is just packed with features for people who need more. The interface itself is gorgeous, and you can tweak it to look how you want. It has built-in goal tracking, so you can set a word count for the day or a deadline for a project, and you get these really satisfying little circles that fill up as you write. But for a lot of people, the absolute killer feature is publishing. You can send your work directly to WordPress, Medium, or Ghost right from the app. It's seamless. 
Plus, it has a really solid revision history, which, if you look at user reviews, people say is an absolute lifesaver. Okay, so we've got the feel for both apps. Now, let's get down to the brass tacks. We're gonna put them head to head on a few key things that are probably gonna be the deal breakers for you one way or the other. And honestly, for a lot of you, this might be the only slide that matters. It's super simple. IA Rider is available pretty much everywhere. Mac, Windows, iOS, Android. Ulysses is Apple only. That's it. Mac, iPhone, iPad. So if you use a Windows computer at work or at home, well, the decision's just been made for you. Next, let's talk about price. And again, a totally different approach from each app. With IA Writer, you pay once, it's a one-time purchase, usually somewhere between 30 and 50 bucks per platform, and then you own it for good. Ulysses, on the other hand, is a subscription. You're looking at about $40 a year, and that gets you access on all your Apple devices. So it really just comes down to what you prefer, a one-and-done payment or a yearly subscription to get all the latest updates. Now here's something you don't always think about until you need it, customer support. And based on user data from G2, Ulysses has a noticeable lead here. It scores a 9.2 out of 10 for support quality, while IA Writer is at an 8.3. Now that might not seem like a huge deal, but if you're a professional writer and this app is how you make your living, knowing you can get fast, helpful support can be incredibly important. Okay, so we've been through a lot. The big question remains, which one is for you? Look, there's no winner here. The best app is the one that gets out of your way and lets you write. It all comes down to what you need, what computers and phones you use, and just your personal vibe. So let's make this super simple. iWriter is probably for you if you jump between Windows and Mac, or if you just hate the idea of another subscription. And most of all, if you love the idea of pure simplicity, standard markdown, and knowing that your files are just plain text files that you have total, complete control over forever. And Ulysses is going to be your jam if you are all in on Apple devices. It's for you if you're writing a novel, a thesis, or a blog with tons of posts and research. If you get a kick out of hitting word count goals and you want to be able to publish to your website with just a couple of clicks, well, Ulysses was literally built for you. So in the end, it all comes down to this one question. What's your ideal workflow? Do you want simplicity or do you want power? Do you need that sharp chisel or do you need the whole workshop? Because the app you choose isn't just a place to store your words, it really can shape the way you think.